friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medico's Hub. This is my third lecture on membrane potentials in nerve fiber and I am going to discuss the action potential. What is action potential? So if we discuss the action potential, then it is a transient change in membrane potential of about 105 millivolts that is conducted along the exon in all or none manner. Before starting of action potential, we know that excitable tissue like neuron is most permeable to some ions. And the order is, it is most permeable to potassium, then chloride, and least permeable to sodium. Now we should know how the voltage gated sodium channels work. Voltage gated sodium channels are like this. Each channel in resting phase is like this. This is activation gate that is A or it is also known as M gate. This is deactivation gate or H gate. So it is at present in resting condition when it is activated then the activation gates are going to open and the deactivation gates move to get closed but in between the situation is that the ions can move through both gates as both are relatively open. So net movement of ion can occur through activation position. So this is A gate and this is D gate or H gate. Soon these are inactivated. So this is activated, this is inactivated. Inactivation will occur like this. That is activated gate is open while the deactivated gate is closed. This is inactivated condition. After some time, it will spontaneously return to its resting position and that is known as D inactivation. During this condition, the A or M gates will close and then D gates open. So there will be no net movement because first they will close and then these will open. Then resting will occur. 
So a voltage gated sodium channel will respond only when it is in resting condition, not in activated or inactivated condition. Now the number of voltage gated sodium channels vary from place to place. For example, if it is soma, then these may be 25 to 50 per micrometer square. If this is initial segment, then these may rise to 350 to 500 per cubic, oh sorry, per micrometer square. Then these are Schwann cells. At the node of Ranvier, first node of Ranvier, we are taking nodes of Ranvier. This why or this will be. It is very high. That is two thousand to twelve thousand per micrometer square. Then on Myelin sheet. This is as low as 18, 20, that is less than 25. In the exon terminals, it may vary from 20 to 75. Area is same. And if non myelinated neurons are taken, then it will be around 110. So, action potential is initiated when the number of voltage gated sodium channels are relatively high. So, they can produce a significant depolarization. So, initial segment and node of Renvier that is first node of Renvier act as the site for initiation of action potential. This is, this initiates the initiation of action potential for cutaneous sensory nerve for example and initial segment it initiates the action potential in spinal motor neuron. Now how the action potential is initiated and propagated? Before starting that we should discuss various important points related to this graph. So this is membrane potential and the important points are, important stages are, this is minus 70 millivolts that is resting membrane potential minus 70 millivolts this is minus 90 millivolt although it is not significant but it is basically equilibrium potential for potassium ion that is minus 90 millivolts. Minus 55 millivolts is firing potential or threshold potential. That is any depolarization in the soma should increase the RMP from minus 70 to minus 55. That is a change, depolarizing change of plus 15 millivolts should be there so that action potential should be initiated. This is isoelectric potential. This is action potential that is plus 35 millivolts.
that is the peak value of depolarization is plus 35. As we have discussed the minus 90 millivolts is the equilibrium potential for potassium in the same way somewhere here will be plus 60 value that is equilibrium potential for sodium. RMP is close to potassium in comparison to sodium but it's important to note that it is having exactly equal value to the equilibrium potential of chloride ions which is minus 70. So if equilibrium potential of ions is calculated then sodium is having the value of plus 60 millivolts chloride is having the value of minus 70 millivolts which overlaps the RMP that is resting membrane potential and potassium is having the value of minus 90 millivolts. Now we are giving a stimuli. What will happen if a stimulus is given? If we give the stimulus somewhere here then a minute change or fluctuation in the membrane potential can be observed. This is known as stimulus artifact. A stimulus artifact is because of leakage of a minimum current from the stimulation electrode to the measuring electrode. Thereafter, a very small phase of isoelectric range is observed and that is termed as latent period. So this is latent period. This is stimulus artifact. Then some mechanical gated sodium channels will be stimulated. They will open and some cations will move inside the neuron. That will raise the membrane potential. Sometimes these may be weak. So they can give rise to graded potentials which may not be sufficient to reach the firing potential. If we increase the stimuli, then the membrane potential of graded potential will be increased, but still it is not sufficient. And if sufficient number of mechanical gated sodium channels are stimulated, then sufficient quantity of sodium will enter the neuron and there will be sufficient depolarization which will increase above the level of firing potential. As soon as the firing potential is reached, there is sudden opening of voltage gated sodium channels which will rise the depolarization of membrane potential up to the value of plus 35 millivolts. This is the peak of action potential. Now, this is A that is stimulus artifact. This is B that is latent period. This is C that is from minus 70 to firing potential and this one is D. So A is stimulus artifact that is minimum fluctuation in the membrane potential followed by a phase of isoelectric potential that is latent period. Then there is another period that is C. C is basically representing the graded potential and D is indicating the action potential. So depolarizing phase of action potential is basically including C and D. C is graded potential then D is because of the opening of voltage gated sodium channels. So this phase is known as depolarization phase. In depolarization phase, we will observe two major events. C means opening of mechanical gated sodium channels. 
if it is a post synaptic neuron then these channels will be voltage gated sodium channels finally opening of mechanical gated sodium channel will result in entry of sodium in icf which develops graded potential d graded potential if it is greater than or equal to plus 15 millivolts then it will reach the firing potential firing potential is reached and because of this voltage gated sodium channel will open and finally plus 35 millivolt is reached so membrane becomes electropositive inside because sodium is entering cations are entering in the cell that's why the membrane will become electropositive inside membrane is more permeable for sodium in this phase because in c and d both phases sodium channels are opening membrane potential has finally reached to plus 35 millivolts which is known as action potential so finally if we revise that a stimulus is given that will lead to minor fluctuations that is stimulus artifact a phase of uh, no fluctuation a phase of latent period is there then finally some voltage gated uh, finally some mechanical gated sodium channels or ligand gated sodium channels will open that will lead to entry of sodium in the cell that will result in the development of graded potential and if graded potential is less than plus 15 millivolts that will result in failed graded potentials and if it crosses the plus 15 millivolt barrier that is it reaches the firing potential mm -hmm. then sudden opening of voltage gated sodium channels will occur that will lead to rapid depolarization of the cell and will reach the value of plus 35 millivolts it will not go beyond that because because that auto inactivation of sodium channels will occur voltage gated sodium channels are auto inactivated that's why it stops here plus 35 millivolt and it will not reach the equilibrium potential of sodium that is plus 60 millivolt so this is the depolarization phase of action potential in next video we'll discuss the repolarization after hyperpolarization and finally obtaining of our mp hit the like button share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications